So here we have an SL100 ball o uh, gate opener. Um, currently the motor doesn't work. I have to help it to open it up, but it does close on its own, but it won't open the gate that you see here. And I am going to take the motor out and I couldn't find anything online. So let's see, it looks like there's four bolts. There's two here and there's a matching two underneath. And I think when you buy the new motor, it comes complete in this bracket. So now I'm gonna pull these four bolts or screws, one, two, there's two more underneath and they are a quarter inch socket or a Phillips if you can get it in there. So there's the capacitor, it's wrapped in this foam underneath the cover and um, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it, but I did discharge it. According to some videos on YouTube, you basically put a blade an insulated screwdriver across the two contacts and I guess that discharges it. Okay, so here's the capacitor for the SL100 and from best I can tell I ran the test on this multimeter and I really don't know what I'm doing but the numbers did escalate so I'm thinking that this capacitor is good. You set the multimeter based on this number here and I'll leave a link to the one video that had a chart that showed you what this put the setting to but for 60 UF I set it to I believe 200k it's really important to take a picture so that these get wired back on. But it looks like I have a white on the one side, a red, and then a blue. So this video will serve as my reference. So it looks like I can just pull the motor now. And there's the two uh, for the capacitor. I've taken off one of the bolts. You can see there's a washer there. I'm going to do the bottom two first. So I'll take that bolt off and then I'll pull these two off. And hopefully there's enough left in this slot to go up, which it looks like there's a little bit to get it to clear. The pulley. So the motor came out really easy. If you look in here, it's really quite grungy and the coils are, it's not real clean in there, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the chase. I ended up taking this uh, motor out to all o -Matic in Van Nuys, California, because I live close to them. They said if you bring the motor out, they could test it. The gentleman plugged in the motor and he said it's working. He decided to test the capacitor and the capacitor is in fact defective, so. If there's anything you take away from this video is test the capacitor before you go outright and buy a motor. Uh, I bought the capacitor for them for $60. He plugged it in and I think the cheapest I found a replacement motor was an affordable openers. I'll put a link in the description for $269. There are two Allens on this pulley. I thought there was only one, but just so you know, and this pulley came off quite easily. So, and the gentleman at all o -Matic said, uh, when you redo the pulley, uh, line it up visually with the belt and then you tighten this in. Uh, mine will be around there obviously because of the rust. And I did pick up a new belt since I was there. Since this belt looks pretty uh, trashed and the belt that came off of it is a SL uh, 4L300. But he gave me a AX2 by Bin Long and he said that's it's a different model number. That's the correct belt. I'm going to go ahead and install it and hopefully it'll work. Okay, here we go. The motor's back in. Um, because of this new belt, it was a lot uh, tighter than the other one, so I had to wedge up the motor and basically max it out on the slide there. I basically got a piece of wood here and then a crowbar and wedged it up while I tightened the bolts. And then I was able to slide the, uh, with some effort, get the, uh, get the belt on the wheel. I put it on this wheel here, put the pulley on, and then I wrapped it around here, and it finally went on. I even uh, try, turn the power on, and let's see if it works with the new capacitor. Look at that! Ah, oh, man, that's great. Now again, my motor needed help and it did function. It just didn't have enough oomph, hence why the capacitor wasn't working. Uh, if your motor doesn't work at all, you may just need a motor right away. But again, check the capacitor first. It'll save you a hassle. Let's try and close it. Ah, that is so great. Good as new.